Okay, in this installment we will go through the very basics of how to set up your editor. It's found under your Steam library under tools. And you can find it in this list here. Or you can use the search option, there you use some, and to find your editor. And if it and if it's not here then you don't own the game and you shouldn't be watching this tutorial to begin with. Let's add it to the favorites and launch it. Now once we've loaded, you will be presented with the Sega Sager 3.5 license agreement. And you can read for all of this if you really want to. Otherwise just click accept and hope for the best. Let's start with some navigation explanation so that you may survive until your second tutorial. Oh just one thing I need to say. My mouse pointer looks like a big black box and I've been trying to fix that for like an hour or so, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to do that, so I mean it works when I mouse out of the editor, scrolls up when I'm inside, so yeah, bear with me. I don't think I can do anything about that, so sorry about that, I'll try to keep my mouse pointer out of view. Anyhow, back to navigation. Mm, oh, the main the main way to navigate in Sega Sega is by holding down your space key and using your mouse buttons to do various movement commands, such as the left mouse button, that is space plus left mouse button, moves you moves your view left, right, up and down, inverted to your mouse movement. Mm, your right mouse button zooms you in on your focus point, and the, the and when you hold both mouse buttons you rotate around your around the average between your viewpoint and your camera angle. And now there's something I need to explain a bit. Oh view the camera and the camera view in CS works pretty much. You have a target focus point and a camera that hovers and follows that focus point. So when you move your left mouse button move sideways and up and down, you move the whole system. When you rotate, you pretty much rotate around that focus point. So if I, for example, set my focus point to be on this edge right here, I'm going to rotate exactly around it, because the camera orbits around the focus point. Now, uh, what I did just there was teleporting, which can be done with space plus double click which teleports your camera and sets your viewpoint, view focus point to be on where you click on. So I can easily move around and also this is a very nice way to figure out where your focus point is if you get confused. The last way to, the last space command is space, control and left and right mouse button. Now this is like a combination between zoom and teleport, which means that when I click somewhere with my left mouse button, it teleports me to that location and zooms in two times. And if I right click, it zooms out, again teleporting me. So I don't actually use this a lot, but maybe some of you will find it for useful. And yeah, the final way is a little bit more fun way to move around. This is with your escape key, and when you press your escape key you get a uh, fly around mode. When you get to fly, move around pretty much like a game character with your WASD keys and mouse wheel controls your speed. When I move, scroll up it increases and when I scroll down it decreases the fly by speed. And this is pretty much all there is to moving around. There is one final thing to say, if you ever get lost, like for example, I don't know, if I really zoom out and not too easily teleport back to my world, I can press my A key and it will teleport me to, well, the approximate distance from everything I have on my world. So the more efficient way is to select some entity in your world, left mouse button, select something and press your A key to 
center your view on that entity. If you have nothing selected, it will center on the entire world, which in my case, it centers between the world and the background. This mm, probably wasn't the best world to demonstrate the functionality of uh, the A key, but I'm pretty, um, I hope you uh, understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's move on to the next stage in your survival guide. Okay, part 2 of your emergency survival guide. Now we're going to talk about how to select and move things. Oh, uh, now I should have probably mentioned something first. The when you first load your editor, your your view will probably look like this. You you, you have all the viewports, left, right, and sideways, and up, down. So we're not going to bother with those in your survival tutorial. So to enter the view I'm in, press your numpad 6. And this means that this is your game render. This enables all the effects like shadows and reflections and stuff like that. Okay, let's move on to selection. Let's say that I want to... I have some stuff here and I want to move it. This is done by selecting something. Left mouse button selects in something if you, you know you can select the terrain, the world, this stuff here and I can move it if I hold down my control key and it shows up the axis and this is pretty much like in every 3D program I have the Y axis moves up and down the blue one well, this is the Z or Y axis and the red one pretty much moves it in the direction the, the arrow points at. The circle on top rotates it, so it's like a rotation and moving through all taken in one. Now if you... An easy way to teleport an object is if you select it, then hold control and double click and it will teleport the object to that location. This is pretty much exactly like your camera teleportation but with space, but with control. So control Sele selection stamping and control double click moves the object, space double click moves the camera. A lot of controls inside the editor are pretty much intuitive like that. You just have to figure out the correct key for them. Now, a uh, way to move your object freestyle without using the arrows is just click somewhere randomly on the screen and it will move it in a plane. So if we have a plane defined by the four points of my view camera, I'm going to move this object in the same directions as defined by that plane. I don't know if that makes much sense. I, I might have like an art illustration later to this tutorial to help me get my point across better. I can copy and paste objects like in any normal program by Ctrl and C, copies, Ctrl and V pastes the object under my mouse pointer and if I hold down shift I can multi-select objects so if I want to delete all of these like select a few of these and copy paste them around the place I can easily do that and I can rotate them grouped like this and if I want to select a lot of objects I have the lasso, lasso selection option which you hold down your right mouse button and you just draw a circle I don't know if you can see it around the, your objects and it will select all of them that are inside it this pretty much is all there is to know about basic selection and movement so if I want to make myself a little box for it here I can Copy paste the box here, rotate it, paste it a few times, paste it again and again, make a small wall segment, and now I can duplicate this again several times. Now there is something I need to note, the speed at which you move objects 
and the precision, and which also means precision, is defined by the distance by your zoom level. Now this is pretty much. Remember that zoom command, space plus right mouse button. This pretty much also defines the speed at which you move objects. So if I zoom in really close, you notice that my left and right movement is reduced. And same goes for object movement. And if I zoom out really far away, you will notice that my sideways movement, space plus left mouse button, is really fast. And I also move objects really ridiculously fast. Usually I like to combine zooming in and then using the escape plus W ASD keys to move back to my location and finish the movement work. This might be confusing, but it will and it will probably take you a while to get used to how to get your movement and view point both set set correctly. But it's really easy. So you because you have all these commands pretty much bunched into one. Okay, this is pretty much the most basic things you need to know. How to join the editor. Now you should be able to move around, select things, duplicate them. And yeah, have yeah I hope you I'll see some new faces in the modding community eventually. <laughs> I made a box for it. This actually brings me to a something I need to tell you guys. Um, I've been boring you with useless advice on how to move and do stuff, but I haven't really told you anything really interesting now. The most interesting thing you guys probably want to know is how to play test your level. This is done with simply pressing T on your keyboard and you will spawn in the center of your world. I won't explain how to set up spawn areas now, but that's for a later tutorial. And for the most case, T spawns you in the center of your world, aka here, where the world grid matches. And a more clever way to spawn is spawn from view. Now this means that it will just spawn the player from where you're looking at. Now this is done with shift plus D. And I spawn where my camera is. And the other final thing you can do is start simulation outside of player. This is control plus D. And this is pretty much like a movie. <laughs> you can set up some enemies later and have them fight for your amusal. I will probably create a tutorial for this next, because you guys need to have something interesting to do. Now, the the last thing I want to say is that new users to CSHR probably... Well, we have these large databases with all of the models I've made and things, but you guys have nothing, so let me show you how to where to find some of Crow Team's stuff to add to your maps. Oh, by the way, this map I've been using can be found on the CSM Free Workshop named Inventor's Cube World. I suggest you download it so that you have a map to test in. You know, promoting my map, anyway. Click on here and use Locate. Now this will take your explorer to where that chair is. Like in our case, it turns out that this chair was in our favorite folder all along. Who knew? We can add it to our favorites if we want to. 